Good morning, everyone. It's Simon Anderson. I'm in Albert Park, where one year ago, um, trans rights activists uh, formed a lynch mob and rioted, attacking women in the park, uh, including Judith Hobson, who's here with me now. Good morning, Judith. Hi, Simon. Nice to meet you, finally. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Uh, today, your assailant is due in court to be sentenced how how are you feeling? A little bit nervous, to be honest. Uh, I've not seen him apart from a picture of him since that day. He didn't actually make a very good impression on me then, though he left quite a indelible one. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm You're I feeling okay. With. I'm, I'm nervous, I'm scared, but I want to go and tell him exactly how I felt about things. Mrs Hobson, you've become the face of far left violence committed by trans activists uh, against women around the world. Millions, if not tens of millions of people saw the footage uh, of your assault. Just how how angry are you with me for making you famous? <laughs> I'm actually very, very grateful to you, Simon, because if it wasn't your, for your footage, nobody would know a thing about what happened here because the politicians lied, the print media lied, and the... Um, television media all lied saying that this was a wonderful peaceful happy gathering of like-minded souls they said nothing about the punching the fighting the spitting the kicking people being picked up and thrown none of that was mentioned not a word of it judith um millions of people around the world have expressed sympathy um to you for and about you for the horrific violence that you you suffered but conversely you've become something of a hate figure for the far left and for the trans rights activists has have, have they been um abusing you online i had one or two um people with sort of failed threats but as soon as they come up, I block them or I mute them, which is even worse because they keep on sending through their hay bale and I don't even get to read it because it's just taken away and I don't even see it. That's a good that, approach. Um, I must admit that gives me a thrill. Fantastic. <laughs> Knowing that they're spewing their little tummies about and I don't even see it. So later today, we'll be in court. The first opportunity that you've had to, to face your assailant and to read your victim impact statement. Are you uh, looking forward to having your day in court and confronting this man? Not so much confronting him, but having my day in court and speaking truth. Good for you. How have you felt about the way the prosecution has proceeded and I asked because there was some consternation expressed particularly internationally that this man had engaged in political violence but wasn't charged under the terrorism act he wasn't even charged with male assaults female he was charged with the the, the lesser crime of common assault what were your thoughts about that I thought the police were compromised quite honestly the Somebody had to have said something to get that assault down graded from male against female down to common assault. It wasn't common assault. The trans rights activists came here with the intention of stopping women from speaking. We had to pay well, I say we, but the organisers had to pay to have fences installed, to have um, insurance in case that beautiful rotunda at the back of us got damaged 
because that is a, a monument. It's not just any old rotunda, it's a returned serviceman's monument. And after the uh, trans rights activists had finished with it, it had to be paid to be cleaned with what they mess that they'd left behind. So that came out of our insurance, yes. What are you expecting from the court today? <laughs> uh, you want the truth, Simon? I would. I think he's going to walk. I think they have been trying to sweep this under the carpet for a year now. And um, his lawyer has asked for a dismissal without conviction, despite the fact that he's pled guilty. They have asked for permanent name suppression. So he would walk out of that court, his name suppressed, nobody would ever know that he had smacked an old lady around. Terrible. Well, well yes. I think so. I think he at least ought to get a conviction for it. Mrs. Hobson, thank you for speaking with me today, and I wish you all the best uh, for your appearance in court. I think that you are a very, very brave lady uh, for coming and doing this and, and confronting your assailant, and I look forward to hearing your victim impact statement when it is read in the court today. Before we finish, is there anything else you'd like to say? This isn't over. This is just starting. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Hobson. Have a nice day. Cheerio. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Simon.